Bang! Needs Knives, I'm Jared, and I am really excited to show you this. So, the star of the show is right here. We will check this out here in one second. We're also going to compare it to one of AM8's most recent drops. This is a super affordable S90V knife. With It's really well done. But, the next one has the possibility of being even better. So, the first one we're going to check out is also no slouch. This thing is awesome. So, this is the new version of the Centaurion, the Centaurion 2, the bolster lock, 3.5 inch M390 drop point blade with a big old belly, gorgeous micro milling. Look at this. You can see there's like a flat spot right here and it's on both sides. And then all of a sudden the micro milling starts. It looks so cool the way they did that. Then you have this um, colored G10, it's carbon fiber mixed with G10, that's what it is. So there's all different colors. I like it, I think it's really cool. Not only is it extremely, extremely tough and strong, but it's, you know, it allows you to do a pop of color without too much. The action, redonkulous, it is so good. The location of the thumb studs are perfectly executed. They um, have a great, they're, they're smooth, but they almost like hook onto you. So it doesn't really need any traction. They work really, really well. The detent is stout, man. Nice, strong detent. I mean that in a good way. I like this detent, man. Nice, strong detent. Um, the only thing that sucks is, you know, this would be a great one for lefties if the clip was reversible, but it's not. TA hardware all the way around except for the steel lock bar insert. Ergonomics are super good. It's slim, too. Like, I thought I remember the Centaurion being a little bit thicker. This one might be a little slimmer, but... Um, big belly drop point, so, you know, it's not going to be the best utility cutter, but you could definitely use it. Uh, man, this thing is glassy smooth. Look at that. Wow. Um, yeah, I like this thing quite a bit. They did a great job with this. You know, it's the little things, you know, like, like that, that kind of really make something stand out. Now, here is the star of the show. Ooh, this thing. Now, like I said, I want to compare it to this guy right here. Um, this one is the Morad, I think. Yes, the Morad. So this one is the Flix, or sorry, this one is the Flix 2. And already I'm just going to say this is my favorite one. This is my favorite knife they've ever produced. I uh, We'll talk about this one here in a second because this one was my favorite until this showed up today. Um, and it's that easy for me to choose because the drop point blade is beautifully well executed. The tip is gonna be super easy to get to. Beautiful sharp and chill plunge grind, heavy micro milling, look at that. It's a nice deep micro milling on both sides. Beautiful carbon fiber, beautiful titanium milk pocket clip, nice backspacer, extremely comfortable in the hand. It doesn't matter if you choke up or choke back. This is a fantastic sized knife. The blade is 3.25 inches. So it's a full size knife without being too big. Then you have this perfect detent. Let it get by the mic. It is so clicky and crispy. Perfect g uh, jimping. This is a front flipper that you can, I bet you I could give this to one of my cousins that have never um, flipped a knife from the front flipper and they would have no problem deploying it. You can do it with the side of your finger, you can do it with your thumb, you can do the roll over if you want, you can do the reach over. It really doesn't matter. You can even like kind of halfway do it. It is really, really good. Super good action. Phenomenal access to the lock bar. Extremely smooth, look at this thing. Then you have the hole deployment that's also really easy to get to. Now, this would be a perfect one for the lefties again, but they didn't give you the clip because this is a bolster lock, so the reverse flick on this is really good. You can even thumb flick it too. The reverse flick's definitely better. Man, super snappy. Yeah, this is super fidgety, super fun. S9 EV blade steel. Now, as far as negatives go, ah, you know, the only negative I could say is the T6s. I wish they would have done the T8s like on this one. See how they did all T8s except for the steel lock bar insert. I wish this was all T8s. They did T6s back here. Is it that big of a deal? No, but man, I would way rather have T8s than T6s. And then the only other thing I can think of is a bead blast. I really, really wish it was a satin. 
You can see they've been doing a lot of blasted finishes, but I would love to see a satin finish, you know, something like this, where it's just, you know, a satin finish that would look so good on there. Look at that. Wouldn't that look gorgeous with the satin? Anyways, um, nice geometry, nice and thin geometry. Damn it, this is so good. Um, as far as this one goes, you can see they are similar size knives. Now here's the big thing though. This one's much more affordable. You can get this one for like 160 bucks. This one's gonna be 190. So you're gonna pay $30 more for this. Is it worth $30 more? In my opinion, yes. Why? Because, <laughs> in, in all reality, right, if you really like the look of this one, then yes, get this one. It is so good, um, super fun, super fidgety. The front flipper is just as good as this one. Like, they're equally as good. That's the thing, is that these are equally as good. I'm kind of curious how they came up with this price tag. It must be because of this stuff. Yeah, the extra machining. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, the hole in the blade. It makes sense. <clears throat> um, But... You know, this is, if you're, you know, trying to pinch pennies or dollars and, you know, you uh, want to get S90V, full titanium frame lock, um, not really contoured, but it's got the micro milling. This one's contoured. Um, so that is another big difference. So, yes, this one's more expensive, but it does have a lot of upgraded features that definitely um, show where that money went. So, you know, I'm not mad as long as I can see that, you know, and I can totally see it. Um, but as far as quality goes, it's still right there. The thing is, is with a fuller, the fuller's great. Like, I, you know, I have no problem flicking it well, with my thumb, I kind of do, but um, yeah, not the best thumb flicker. But for the reverse flick, it's great. Phenomenal reverse flicker, but a hole deployment's always going to be a little bit better, you know? Just has a little bit sharper edge on it. Now, granted, with the fuller, you can go down lower where you get a lot of leverage. So, it's really good. Um, some people might even argue that this one's a little bit better for the reverse flick because it's not so high, you know, like a hole deployment is because it's a fuller. That You know, it allows you to hit down here where you have, you know, where there's less detent strength. Anyways, um, yeah, like I said, this is my new favorite AM8 knife. Um, <clears throat> I am absolutely loving this one. It is going to get up and it's going to be in a lot of videos. I'll tell you that much. Same thing with this one. I got it. I got to put this in a lot of videos. Um, I have a video coming soon of knives at $200 and knives at $150. And uh, uh, I'll tell you what, you know, spoiler alert. These are going to be in there. This one is around the same price as this one, by the way. So just so you know, everything will be linked down in the description for you guys. Work hard, stay tough. You know society's relying on you. Until next time, peace.